I can't understand this with Hillary Clinton and now Senator Kane at her side is to support a practice like partial birth abortion. I mean, to hold to the view, and I know Senator Kane, you, you hold pro-life views personally, but, but the very idea that a child that is almost born into the world could still have their life taken from them is just anathema to me. And, and I, cannot, I can't conscience about, about a party that supports that. Both vice presidential nominees are known for their strong Catholic backgrounds, but who's really more in line with what the rest of America thinks? Uh, Fox and Earth Weekend co-host, Mr. Everything, Tucker Carlson joins us now. Uh, Tucker, who do you think resonated the best yesterday, uh, not counting your interview with Ainsley at the end in the spin room? <laughs> I think you both resonated well. But let's talk about it out of the two. I mean, well, I thought Pence clearly won. I mean, he clearly won, and you're seeing the spin this morning. Well, it doesn't matter. Nobody watched. Right. It didn't redound to Trump's benefit. Okay, fine. He still won. And actually, why isn't it reassuring for voters who kind of want to vote for Trump or are concerned about him to see that he has a sober, smart, running mate capable of linear thinking, et cetera? I mean, I don't, I don't see the downside uh, for Trump at all. But the remarkable moment for me was the abortion moment. Because right. keep in mind, Pence was not asked about abortion. He was asked more broadly about his religious faith. And he brought it up. Republicans do not do this. They're afraid of the topic. They think it hurts them. But they're wrong on this one specific point, partial birth abortion. The country is split on abortion. It is not split on late term or third trimester abortion. We have a lot of polling on this. We know what the mainstream is. And we know less than 30% of the country supports legal third term abortion, elective abortion during the third term. And the Cain position, the Hillary position, the Democratic platform position is way out of the mainstream. Yeah. And so Pence, by saying this, wins. Sure. Uh, and the way he framed it was very sober and very accurate where he's talking about an almost right. born baby. That's what you're talking about right there. Exactly. And, right. and I have to say, Cain's position on this is ludicrous. So his position is, I'm pro-life personally. I think abortion is immoral, but I'm for unlimited access to abortion, taxpayer funded abortion. If I think that guns are immoral, do I get 100% rating from the NRA? Do they endorse no. me? No. Absolutely and yet he's not. been endorsed by the abortion Which lobby. They're all so, yeah. come on, it's stupid. Uh, real quick, at one point, Tim Kaine said this. Listen. My primary role is to be Hillary Clinton's right-hand person and strong supporter as she puts together the most historic administration possible. And I relish that role. I'm so proud of her. He's her right-hand person. It's, why do men have to neuter themselves to fit with progressive orthodoxy? I mean, Tim Kaine is a man. Why is it embarrassing to say that? He didn't choose to be a man. He was born that way. That's the biological right. reality that the rest of us are busy denying. But it doesn't make it any less true. Why should he have to pretend otherwise? You're wondering why men aren't voting for Hillary, and boy, they're not? Maybe this is why. Right. If you're Maybe. a man, admit you're a man. That's the message I get from Tucker Carlson today. Well, why is it embarrassing anyway? It's not even your fault. I'm, I'm proud you know, to be a it's man. It's not bad being a man. Yeah, it's fine. It's great. All right. You're proud <laughs> to be a man, Steve. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. All right. Tucker, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. He's all, right. all man.